Hi everybody, thanks for coming to Shine Already with Dr. Abby. Today we're going to talk about how to tell if you're being too passive. So I used to be the kind of person who used to say, that's fine, we'll just do whatever you want, we don't have to do what I want. This is a really passive approach which allows others to just step all over you, take advantage of you, like who cares? Abby won't care anyway, we could just do whatever we want and you become less valuable. And it's because you don't want to speak up for what you want. Asian values would say, oh, that is very good to be obedient and to be flexible like a bamboo that bends and does not break. Go with the flow, keep the peace, we want harmony. Just do what you, you are told. There are two ways to look at this. There's a way that you could be entitled to having everything your way. You know, I would fight for what I want and if I didn't get it, I would pout and resent and be miserable for the whole rest of the time. That's one way some people could react to the whole thing, okay? And there's another way where if you rise above the situation and handle it maturely, you don't suffer. You don't have to suffer all that misery. The best way to be open and to not end up resenting is to say what you want and come up with a plan together. I mean, it doesn't always have to be just your way or the other person's way. It could be something you both agree on because you're like, yeah, good point. You know, let's do it that way. Or how about we do it this way this time and your way the other time. If you work together, no one loses. And you won't be miserable resenting since you were actually part of the decision-making process. I remember when we used to get the family-style Chinese food and the big platter came with meat and mixed vegetables and on the whole big platter there were only like two or three water chestnuts and they're, they're fun to eat they're crunchy you know little kids when we were kids you know that was the yummy thing okay the water chestnuts and it was almost kind of like those water chestnuts were special they were the prizes and only the best person could have them somehow very often I was not the one who got those water chestnuts I remembered that no one ever fought over those mushrooms and there were a lot of them I decided that I wanted to be the one who got all the mushrooms I became like like the mushroom queen my brother and sister would even say you know Abby likes the mushrooms just give them to her and I piled those things up on my plate and enjoyed every single one of them. After that, I was happy every single time. I was never a loser, a bully victim who never got those water chestnuts. I never resented because I was rich in my own definition of rich with a plate full of mushrooms. And in this case, I'm not being too passive and not being a pushover, not being the one who didn't get what they wanted because I was able to rise above recreate the definition and be rich and, and be the winner. I was no longer the person who was like, no, they can have it instead of me. I guess I just won't get that thing that I want because I always got what I wanted then. I'm not putting myself down or making my preference less important. I'm simply reframing the situation and finding a win-win and I won every time. And the prize? A plate full of mushrooms for me. And that is one way that I learned to shine.